Um, I, I guess that brings me on to my second question, which is, you know, about, about some of the persecution happening. You know, you run two magazines. You run, you know, Lok Kwa and the Vietnamese independent media outlets. Uh, presumably that's not easy. Um, our, the latest data show uh, yet again that journalists are at particular risk of a wide range of rights violations in Vietnam, from um, the right to housing, for instance, to the right to uh, freedom from arbitrary arrest and detention. So could you tell us a bit more about the media landscape in Vietnam and I guess why running these media outlets is important to you? Right, yeah. So before I talk about the media landscape in Vietnam, um, I'm a journalist in itself, right? What kind of countries have journalists in itself? Um, we are talking about China, North Korea, um, Myanmar, Russia. So we are, we are that kind of countries, right? Uh, and uh, behind me is a, is a painting of my uh, one of my co-founders, uh, and uh, and she is my best friend. She is one of the most um, um, well-known and talented journalists we have had in Vietnam after the Vietnam War. She is in jail now, serving a nine-year uh, imprisonment sentence. Um, so, what it, what does that say about the media landscape in Vietnam? Um, we are having. Uh, seven or 800 Mahi media outlets, but there is a very famous saying in Vietnam is that um, that many outlets have only one editor-in-chief, which is the Communist Party's propaganda chief, right? Um, so, and we have um, on the, on paper, we have no private media. That is not allowed. So, but uh, in fact, we do have some private media outlets under the umbrella of the governments. Um, but also at the same time, we have, um, we have um, hundreds of journalists and bloggers um, and Facebook users um, being either harassed or prosecuted or are, are serving um, prison time in jail now. So um, we are ranked just above two countries. Um, on the press freedom index by reporters without borders. Those are North Korea and China. Um, so we are, I think we are a smaller, um, a small copy of China in terms of media. Um, we are luckier than Chinese people that we are having a sort of um, uh, freer uh, and more accessible internet. So we do have access to um, a diversity a variety of source of, of information. But so far, there is no um, independence media outlet can survive in Vietnam. We used to have some, but the government have put all the journalists and, uh, and media um, professionals, uh, independent uh, people in, in jail. So basically, talking about independent media, most of them are in exile. And we are operating from Thailand, from uh, Taiwan from the US and from some cities in Europe as well. Um, that is a very bad situation we are in. Yeah, it certainly is. Thank you for um, for sharing that and, and, and for showing us the portrait of your colleague behind you. Thank you. Um...